Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. As you can see, I have not only a tablet here, but I also have a laptop. And what I'm going to show you today is how to stream your laptop by remote desktop software on to your Asus Transformer Prime through some software that actually comes with the tablet itself. So first of all, we will look at the uh, laptop and see what uh, pieces of technology you need on your laptop. You need to download something called Splash Top, which I believe is free. I've had this uh, program for quite a while now because I used to use it on the iPad. And this is basically the uh, information you need. I will just focus in on that screen there, which is a Splash Top streamer, which will have a uh, IP address which you can then you put into your Prime and you'd also need to set up a password as well. Fairly simple and um, basic stuff in order to get the Prime uh, to talk to the laptop. So let's go to the Prime now which I will just open up and what you will need to look at is the My Cloud application which I, if I just load up there should with any luck, go into application and as you can see I have my content which is my cloud services but now I also have my desktop so if I start to scan all devices what I've already done is I've already set up this laptop so it's found the IP address and it's ready to connect so if I just type that in there and then I will just need to put in a password a few seconds it should connect to the laptop you can see that the hints have come up there with a few controls. Uh, I'm going to show you a few of them, but obviously with the Transformer Prime's USB hook, uh, stick ports, we are going to use a mouse mostly to show you how that works. So, uh, let's have a look now at the actual uh, Prime. You're looking at a Prime. I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see that the desktop is behind me. I'll just close the screen so you can actually see that the laptop now says that a client device has connected to this computer which is all excellent and then if we go back to the Prime itself and I'll just zoom in there, sorry I'm have to do a lot of zooming in and out but here we ha now have the Prime, so if I just press there you can see that the mouse just zoomed in there, I'm not sure why I wanted to do that but I can um, zoom in and out if I want to by pinching to zoom and that works a little bit, you've got to do it it looks as though you have to do it on um, open parts of a window because if I try to put my finger there and then zoom in it's not going to pinch the zoom properly I have to do it on um, a bit of exposed desktop I would say so let's zoom all the way back out and if I now let's see double tap on Chrome we should hopefully open up Chrome which it does and there we are I can start using my uh, desktop on my Prime um, Let's see, so if I do two fingers, I can do a bit of scrolling. It's not simple, but it can be done. And there we are. What I'll do now is I'll just zoom out the camera even more, and I'll show you the kind of response times that we get here. Um, it's going to be a little tricky to do, so just bear with me for one second. So here we have the uh, tablet, here we have the laptop, and we'll just do some scrolling. As you can see it seems to be picking up some of my attempts to sort of select, but it is working okay I would say. And that's um, fairly uh, acceptable, uh, response time not too bad. What we'll do now is we'll uh, get this to act a bit more like a laptop. and I'll put the laptop actually out of screen so we can use the Prime a bit more suitably so I'll zoom back in now just bear with me because there is a cretinous dog trying to attack me now connected once again and now you can see I have my uh, mouse running like so, so let's start using the mouse. You can use the double click now and as you can see it's much easier to use um, I can scroll up and down quite easily I can click to select text as I normally would let's try a bit of copying and pasting, so I'll copy that using control C on the 
uh, tablet. I suppose I should just zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. The problem is if I um, I lose sort of one aspect of being able to see the screen if I zoom out, but you can now see that I've just copied and pasted some text into the notepad there. Let's just see if we can turn IPS off. We might be able to see that a little bit better. So now you can see that I just copied some text in here to the notepad, which is all excellent. Let's quickly use a Office program. Start up Microsoft Word. which for some reason takes an absolute age on my computer but there we are and we'll just do a quick test this may look somewhat familiar to on live desktop which I showed you in another video but as you can see it's very responsive very quick and um, it's very consistent as well, there doesn't seem to be any drop in Wi-Fi issues, obviously the Prime has had some criticism labelled against it because of the Wi-Fi, but it seems to be working uh, very efficiently here, so I'm absolutely happy with the way this is working. I will point out though, and if anybody can uh, suggest how to solve this, I can't use my mouse wheel, uh, because I think the Prime is taking the instructions as if it was a um, mouse with no wheel perhaps so that's a little bit disappointing and if I use this mouse and if I use the menu button on the back button watch what happens well the back button there uh, exited back out of uh, the, prog the um, connection so I've got to go back in and I don't know if you noticed that when I try to use this right mouse button it's not working as a menu button so we have no right button options I think I messed about with the options a little bit earlier so that I changed that the back button was to back out of a application which is one of the defaults of the Prime where if you use a back button on a mouse it goes back out of the application not back on a browser sometimes it works on a browser in the tablet I'm confusing things a little bit but essentially to say that you don't have all the mouse controls that you might expect a uh, remote desktop from a Prime to a laptop. Uh, I'll just show you one more thing um, with the Prime and that's I'll play some audio and see if the syncing is okay. Uh, I'm going to play... that's probably not the best thing to play actually, let me just go back again. But it gives you a chance to see how uh, well the tablets and everything is talking together. So I'm running a poker program now. Put it full screen. So the frame rate isn't perfect, but if you listen to it, the sound sync does seem to be fairly in place. And another thing to note is that the sound's actually coming from the Prime. When it's connected via remote desktop, the sound is muted on the laptop and it comes only through the Prime. Perhaps not the greatest example, but this is basically a demonstration that the remote desktop of a splash top does seem to work. And it works reliably, which is the important thing, and it works well. Uh, if you do have any questions, and sorry that's my laptop now playing the um, film, so that was a bit of a mistake. Let me just mute that. So if you do have any questions, um, this is a bit of a higgledy-piggledy demonstration of a, um, the remote desktop, but I hope it gave you a, a clear indication that it is fairly good and fairly reliable. Uh, so if you do have any questions, um, please contact me. And I'll see you again soon in another video.